Hi everyone! I noticed you are quite enjoying this series of shortcuts tutorials, so I have one more for you. If you are new to the channel or new to the shortcuts app, check the first video, which explains the basics. It will pop up now on the top right corner and you will also find the link in the description. In this video, I will show you how to create a shortcut script which allows you to put a watermark to any image with just one click. The script is not so easy, but if you invest a little bit of your time to watch this video till the end, you will save a lot of time in the long run. That is exactly the reason why Apple Online Academy channel was created, to help you master your devices and save you a lot of time. Don't worry, there is no clickbait in the title. At the end, you will really be able to replicate this quick action shortcut, which will work on your own images. So let's start by opening the shortcuts app and click the plus button to create a new shortcut. Let's call it add watermark. You can customize the color and icon if you like. I like here something more neutral and here are many symbols. The barcode icon seems to fit well. Now I will start a little bit from the back and first switch here to the settings and set this to appear as a quick action. The reason why I set it right now is because I want to show you how the shortcut is created step by step and because it will add this option here. Receive any input from quick actions. We don't really want any input, we will work with images only. So let's clear everything and select just images. If there is no input, we can set it to ask for a file. That means if you don't have the logo which you will put as a watermark, it will actually ask for it. But you can just leave it, because we will set it properly. Now we can finally start. What we basically need is to take an image and overlay another image over that. Well, it's enough to type image here and it will give us some options what we can do. One of them here is to overlay image, that's what we want. So I will double click it to edit. We have the action now, but we need a file which will actually overlay the image. Let's type file and drag it here above it. Now it will ask you to select the file, so we can choose anything from the computer, but it has to be a PNG file with a clear background. I will choose this Apple Online Academy logo. So now back to overlay we add before and right click it or control click it here. We need to select the file we just edit. You can do it if you choose select magic variable. And now click on the file. It will connect these two actions together. The other one needs to be shortcut input. So it will overlay the new file on the picture we select. But we are not done here. Click on show more. As you can see, show image editor is checked. Let's leave it for now and test it. I will open Finder and look for the image I want to put watermark on. I will actually put it on the desktop that it's easier. Now control click it, right click it or two finger click it on the trackpad to get to this menu. And go to quick actions where you can see our new add watermark. Let's try it. Now the editor appeared, I have the logo on top and I can drag it where I want and even pinch it with my fingers to shrink it down. Maybe set the opacity to like 50% if I want it to fade out a bit. But after all of this, when I press done, nothing has actually happened and the image is still the same. We are missing one step and that is to save the file with edits. But first of all, we want to have it automatically put the watermark there and not bother us with positioning and scaling. We will actually fix these two things now. So let's get rid of image editor by unticking this option. If I turn it off, many different options will appear. Now it's a bit tricky, because every watermark image can be different, so you will probably need to test it few times before you get the perfect result. But let me show you. First the position. Most likely it will be the bottom right, so you can select bottom right here in the list. But for some reason, it doesn't work. I actually have to set it for a top right. Probably some bug that will get fixed in the future. 
you can test it yourself, maybe it will work for you already. But at this moment of filming this video, it's the opposite. Next, as we tried before, we can lower the opacity to 50% and now the tricky part with the size. I will leave it automatic for now and we will fix it later. Now we have to add this one command to save the file. Again just type file and select save file from the options here on the left. As it says, it will save the overlay image. If you click on show more, it will specify that it will be asking where to save it. So let's try this now. Save it on the desktop and open it. Well, the watermark is really big, I need to make it smaller. But as I mentioned before, it is actually correctly placed on the bottom right corner. So let's go back to overlay and set the width and height to make it smaller. 100 for example. And let's try once more. Now it seems much better. One more annoying step we can skip now is to save it automatically. It's a little bit tricky, little bit more complex than you could think, but we can do it. First thing we need to get for it is the path of the original file. You can again easily find this option if you type file here and one of them will be get parent directory. So stick it all the way up here that it will connect to the beginning of the script. It should say get parent directory of shortcut input. Now it will save the file in the same folder, in my case on the desktop. But let's do one more quick customization. I will look for get details of files which is right here above it. On this select get name and from the shortcut input, not the folder. This will recognize the file name and I want to use this information while saving. So click down here to show more and untick ask where to save it. In the sub path I can specify the name. So control click it, select variable and click on the name here. Now it will be saved in the same folder with the same name. Let's add watermark to it so it's perfect. And also don't forget here to switch it to parent director. You already know how. Right click it, select variables and click on the parent directory. Now it's time to test it. Control click the file, go to quick actions and add watermark. Now you can see it created this second file straight away. It's the same name with watermarked at the end. It is saved at the same folder and if I open it, it's perfect. Now I can find any other picture in the finder and add a watermark to it with one click. I am a photographer, so I use this a lot. Yes, you probably know how to add a watermark to your images or documents in pages, in Photoshop or just overlay it in preview. But all of these mentioned options require a lot of your time, that you can spend doing something more useful. I will be actually really happy for your feedback if you find this video useful. A simple like will do more than you can think. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.